Hi there, and welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And did you know there's no such thing as the conditional surrender when it comes to the kingdom of God? I want to tell you a tale to make that point. And this is a true tale of when I was working with youth with a mission and we were in Colombia, South America for three months on an outreach. Our main focus of our outreach was doing a creative dance and mime that presented the whole gospel without saying one word. It was all done through music, through action, through mime, through dance, and through acting. Well, this allowed us to go into places where we didn't have to worry that our lack of Spanish would get in the way. And one of those places we ended up was a maximum security prison that was extremely overcrowded. And many of the men who were in this prison would never see the light of day again. They were in there for life. Many of them were gang members. Many of them belonged to the cartel. This wasn't a safe little place, but we felt safe because all of them were up on the second floor of the compound and we were in a courtyard on the first floor and they were separated from us by a huge mesh fencing unit. Well, the drama that we were doing presented the whole gospel. And at one point where Jesus was being beaten and mocked by the Roman soldiers, it was pretty heavy. Uh, the mimes and the action and the dance depicted just how brutal Jesus' death was. And you could hear gasps from these hardened men at the very last note, where in other places we had done this play, people broke into applause. There was total silence, and you could just feel the presence of God. Our translator took advantage of that pause and got up and preached a really good gospel message. And then he asked everybody if they wanted to surrender their lives to Jesus to raise their hand. About 1,200 inmates raised their hand. And how do we know that? We had a few people who were able to look up and to guess how many people were coming to the Lord. Our translator thought maybe they misunderstood and so he went back into it and this time you could just tell he was laying down exactly what the contract was they were going to have to give up their gangs they were going to have to give up the cartels they were going to have to stop lying to the parole officers they were going to have to turn completely away from their old way of life and follow Christ. Once again, he asked them to raise their hands and even more raise their hands this time. And there were even guards this time who raised their, their hands. How did we know they were guards? Because they had machine guns strapped across their chest. I had goosebumps and I still do when I think about it. Years after that event, I was still in contact with one of our translators who told me that that particular prison saw a lasting revival and there were many there who had life sentences who would never get out of there, but they used their freedom in Christ to bring others to the Lord. There was no negotiation at the cross. Either we give our whole lives to him in surrender or we don't. When we give our lives over to his care, we begin the process of being transformed into his image. And as we allow him free access to all those areas of our lives, we discover our God is a generous God. He delights in giving his children good gifts purely out of his love for us. But we also learn that he is a wise father and he knows that his children need to clean up their messes with his help, of course. He is not a God who will be swayed by manipulation and he will not be coerced to give in to temper tantrums. I'm going to end with this verse from James 
4, verse 6 from the Message Translation. It's common knowledge that God goes against the willful proud, but God gives grace to the willing humble. Is it time for you to lay down your arms? Those men that day knew that by them surrendering their lives to God, they were surrendering their lives to God and they were going to need to rely on him to be their protection because they could no longer rely on their gang members to protect them. So who are the gang members in your life that you might be holding on to? Resentment, bitterness, unforgiveness. Perhaps you like to stretch the truth just a tiny bit. Perhaps you've got some messes to clean up that you've been running from. Trust God to be your protector and step out in truth. Step out into a new life and see where it takes you.